the first half was like knocked it out of the park. Maybe yeah. even more. And then towards the end, I was just like, okay, but but it was still good. This is, cla- this is a classic. Like but, finish off your like just fill you up like fillers yeah. for your. But, uh, for the, no, for the, but yeah. it was like again. I'm just like, dang, we eating like kings here. Like because I've never yeah. done anything like that. Yeah, I, 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 a legitimate but, Chinese restaurant. It's not like that chop suey stuff that you mm. like you see outside. It's like legit seafood or like squabs and stuff like that. It's it's, it's tasty. It man. was re- no, it was again. That's what like from beginning to end, from the ceremony to the party after, it was all off the chain. It was, oh, yeah, it was glad, one of the probably possibly the best wedding I've been to, other than yours. Well, <laughs> I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I love my wedding. My wedding was perfect for me. Well, but I don't have to tell you that it's stressful. Like you can only enjoy so much of. It. Like there's moments that you really enjoy, yeah. And other parts are like, man, I'm ready to go home. Like, <laughs> do you know what? I did not want to go home at that, yeah? that, that night. Sweet. That was like the first. Like I, I was legitimately having fun the whole day. Right. Um, even the crazy morning with all the, the <laughs> Chinese ceremony, tea ceremony stuff. But we're I don't know. We can talk. Well, we're yeah. gonna get into it. We're yeah, gonna yeah, get yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do they, do they really want to hear it again? I'm pretty sure they don't want. Did to. Did you even listen to last week's I episode? I did. Like you guys wanted to hear my my. Yeah, song, we want to hear yeah, from your, hear your perspective. End. It's entirely different. What is going this, on, this people? This is the wedding edition, Billy. <laughs> the wedding, wedding edition. edition. <laughs> this is the second one. What is going on, people? Welcome back. To the top tier podcast. This is episode 102. Wow. The wedding edition. 102. I missed like what, 10 episodes? Yeah, you've been on every. Yeah, I know. That's true. Yeah. You've been on a shitload. Has it ever been just the three of us? I no, I say. First, first. I feel like this is an interesting this dynamic. Is the yeah. BBB team right here. <laughs> Triple B, Triple Big B. Baller <laughs> Brand. Well, that's, that's, that's actually like a brand for like a, like a out of craze, like a out of control, like basketball dad. I'll show you some clips. So My hilarious. name is Brendan. You can, of course, find me on the YouTubes over at youtube.com slash Rattel Factor. I thought it was probably Cocoon. I was going to say, is like, do you always introduce yourself with Brendan? Yeah. Oh, okay. For like the last yeah, 30 Rattel, freaking yeah, episodes. Was, yeah, almost I almost it It's almost weird. You can find this show, the Top Tier Podcast, over at youtube.com slash Top Tier Podcast with me today. Married man, Billy. Yeah, oh, Billy. Billy Huin for the Huin. In it to Huin it. Hashtag. What up? <laughs> and straight out of El Salvador and into the top tier podcast, Benjamin Espinosa. Yo, what's good? I'm, I finally joined your club, the married club. So yeah, yeah this, is the first, this is your first podcast as a married man. How does that make you feel? I don't know. I feel old. Yeah, right. It's about, it's about, it's about what, I, I don't know, what I feel. You feel old. I feel old. I feel, feel like old? relieved though after all that right. stress is gone. I feel yeah. so much better. Yeah, I, I can totally tell. Just like mm. just because the day was, it was just nonstop. Yeah. It was just one fucking thing mm. after another. And I mean, like because we started like first thing yeah. in the morning, right? We got we got drunk pretty much. Yeah, pretty we early. were taking shots of Patron at eight something. Oh, I burped it smells. No oh, fuck. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Billy, how was the wedding, man? Um, everything I could ask for. Uh, my parents were happy. Daphne mm-hmm. was happy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm pretty simple. I, I'm pretty mm-hmm. easily pleased with like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm happy with everything. But um, you know what? It was smooth. You know, there's mm-hmm. some hiccups here or there. Uh, people are gonna complain. Ooh, people complain. Yeah, it's family stuff. Don't okay, yeah. okay, family. Okay, okay, uh, okay. You know, you know. I was gonna say as long as it's not like you're gonna tell us Santos some or Bay Rudy <laughs> were complaining. Like, Bears are. Dog. Oh, where the folks the fried chicken and dog, dog man, kind of that, seafood? Did, hey, we, you guys got the squab it's like, though. It's like, it's like I didn't black out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's like there's that, and you know what? There's people are always gonna like my family's gonna be like, oh, this is not perfect here and there. But I'm like, dude, we had eighty nine, or I personally think it's ninety percent to the teeth. How good it was! It right? was like, fucking no, great, it was man. Amazing. It was such a good time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Legit, one of the better. We- Again, I think for me, I, I think it's safe to say it's the best wedding I've been to. I like, like we were saying that last episode. It's like I think it's the fucking like most fun I've ever had at a wedding. It, Granted, I've never been a part of a wedding party like mm. you know a groomsman before, so maybe that kind of skewed my uh, my enjoyment to make me like have more fun than I probably would have. But I mean, you were just a regular guest, right? Yeah. So yeah. like. From your perspective, yeah, Ben, I want to hear your. Then yeah, 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 it was again. I, I, <laughs> for me, it was so good because the ceremony was it was short and sweet, but it didn't. Everything mattered. Like everything that was said had 
some importance to it. It had meaning. Again, I was touched. So it was like a moment where like I got quite emotional myself. Oh, I'm just man. like everyone. So, got so Daphne started talking. It's because you know, it's like this is true love. This is real love, and uh, and that's why it's, 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 it's very as sweet. As soon as you heard Billy's "I do," yeah, <laughs> Billy, I, voice of God, "I do." It's like, oh! <laughs> Who? 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 Yeah, so during the ceremony, but, like, it keep going. Man. But, but so, it, again, it, it was just beautiful. And, of course, it's Billy, so it's hype. Everything was hype. Everything that happened throughout from beginning to end, there was that. I mean, and it was serious, but it wasn't, like, but we were having fun. You were having fun. And you could see that through the whole day. You were ha- Everyone was, you know. It wasn't, sure. it wasn't a funeral because sometimes it could just get so sappy. It could get just to a point where it's like, okay, like, what's going on? Ceremonies, but, like, drag on for way too long or some shit like that, right? Yeah. Like, I was surprised how fast it happened. I was just like, oh, dang, like, we're done. Yeah. And, and that was it. So, But it's for- like you guys said your vows. You got all that. You did everything you had to do. And it was, you know, sweet and to the point. Yeah. I don't want to do all those crazy, like, like, like adding time yeah. we wanted it in and out we talked mm-hmm. to her officially she's like i like you guys you guys are short and sweet <laughs> like you're straight into the I, point I, yeah it's just like oh we, well, i don't understand the point of it because they like we paid for this venue let's take advantage of that mm-hmm. shit but the, is that the, some people's mindset? In the yeah. venue, Van Dusen, oh, oh I, I, le- I mean, legit, that's where I was going to, like, the first, my first engagement, that's where we were planning it, because yeah. that place is mm. legit. It's actually not that, not too expensive as well. It's actually pretty inexpensive mm. when I was actually looking at it. Um, the only reason why we had to pay a little more is because it was a little bit rainy the night before, and mm. the grass was not good for us to step on, so, you know, a couple of days before, I'm like, you know what? I'm paying the extra just in case anything right. happens. And it was it was raining, mm. but yeah, like the outdoor venue would have been you know great. But then, I think it was a blessing in disguise for sure. A lot of people were saying that because we were actually able to like it was more of an enclosed space. Yes, mm. it was a little bit warm after a while, but uh, it was quick. Wait, it was quick. I mean, maybe for you guys, but yeah, down you guys where we were, it was the, it was perfect. I think it was just warm. Dude, I was, I was nervous. Toasty up there, yeah, man. Yeah, it was hot, man. And then um. Yeah, like everyone's able to hear things. Like mm-hmm. it was. Oh, just, that's true. Like if it's outside, you, know, you probably wouldn't be able to hear as much. Yeah. As much. You wouldn't get that thunderous. I do. do. Yeah. <laughs> so it was. It was perfect. That like that was the first time I actually seen the inside like indoor venue. I'm like, whoa! Like my decorator did a great job. The decorations were. I was gonna say, and that surprised me too. That like because it was like oh it was supposed to be outside. I was just like these decorations though. Like it looked great. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it looked like it was meant to be like and then, that all along. Uh, the decorations at the reception. It was Ooh. the same like, one. It's like, yeah, you, yeah. you know, because when we got there, I even Lou said, well, this is some Chinese shit. This is- <laughs> oh, my gosh. When you walk in, you're like, when you when you first see that the storefront, I was like, guys, trust me, it's a Chinese restaurant. Lou walks in, that is some Chinese shit. <laughs> like, it was, you, you saw it I too. Mean, dude, man, it was like Narnia, man. That outside, it looks just like a wardrobe, and you step yeah. in, and just it's like, like what yo, the there's, fuck? there's a whole world in here. <laughs> you know, just like. When you step in, everything has got drapery everywhere. There's lanterns hanging all over the fucking ceiling. It looked really fucking amazing. It, yeah. It did yeah. not seem like a Chinese restaurant, is what we're trying no. to say. No, no, It's like no. a mix of both because we had the lanterns just to try to get a little bit of uh, the Chinese in there just to, you know, respect the culture and shit. The Chinese shit. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I'm ha- I'm happy with the ceremony, how, how like, everything worked out. Um, You know, music was pretty much... Most of the music I had a hand, like to pick mm-hmm. uh so it, it worked out for you know for, for for me and a lot of people uh, i'm not sure if and you yeah know. man we were like so many people were just like on the dance floor yeah. till the mm-hmm. end of the night yeah so until, our dj our dj oh. was you know on point mm-hmm. uh we gave her 10 songs i'm like this is the type of songs that i like to listen to and i was like she's like great i can work with that man i mean she played the 10 songs i really mm-hmm. wanted to play like mm-hmm. me and daffia and then the other song she mixed in. There's a few times she added some like she tried to test up the the market, see the people mm-hmm. who dance. she added some like uh, like uh, some EDM in there. And mm-hmm. if some people started leaving, she, after a minute, boom, she cuts mm-hmm. it right back into yeah, the yeah, yeah. right back into hypnotized by by the notorious VIG. And I'm She's like, dude, she knew yeah. exactly when to mix it in, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah test the waters a little bit. Yeah, uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the reception too because mm-hmm. I was not able to take a picture. I- Dude, with a lot of people. We oh. didn't take a picture with Billy and Daffy. Me, like, At all? Me and Chriselle. Like, we didn't get, like, a, a picture with Billy and Daffy. We didn't realize until afterwards. 
obviously we took a shitload of yeah, pictures yeah, yeah. as a group, as a group, yeah, as a collective. But we never like, took and, and you, know, you know as a couple, like two couples. We haven't done that. But funny because I haven't take I, I didn't take a lot of pictures with like a few of my uncles. I'm like oh shit, oh, shit. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, and I didn't take some pictures with um, Daphia's cousin as well her, mm. her the uh, the maid of honor but I, surprisingly i took pictures of my brothers which is like the weirdest thing because they're like yeah let's take some pictures I'm like all right let's do it you know the thing is because like we were you know doing shit all day like a lot of the times it's like you got a we had a professional photographer following us around and shit so i'm just like i'm not gonna bother taking pictures mm. with my phone i have nothing and chriselle like she's got her dress on shit she's like i got nowhere to put my phone so yeah. she didn't have it on her like the entire right. day yeah, yeah. So, i had nothing so I'm, I'm probably gonna send a like, message to everyone like, hey, if you have pictures, send them to me. Yeah, like that's, stupid pictures and that's stuff. That's a good idea. Or yeah. tell if you can do that for me. Something like, I don't know if I can do. It. Oh, actually, not you. But like, someone has to do it for me because I'm yeah. I'm like lazy right want now. Want some candid shots? I can't wait to see the professional. Photos. Yeah, me too. I I, I mean there are. Well, are they well, I mean, I mean we saw some of the like. Well, it was video actually. Yeah. The, the film footage of like gang prepared like that morning of, yeah, and yeah, it just yeah. looked again phenomenal and i don't know it's the same photographer that did your invitations but the invitations are pimp as well the invitations were uh were separate so it's okay. a different person yeah. so we have a, a person who did like invitations and printing and everything and she i love the invitations and and then surprisingly our we gave the invitations to our um to our decorator and he um uh, he pretty much worked with the invitation and found our theme and then she did everything. I didn't. I didn't know what the hell he was gonna do. He just showed me like some rough sketches and everything. Right, right. But then he just—he was phenomenal, man. Like mm -hmm. he was unbelievable. How on point with the you know color schemes and all like the decorations mm -hmm. he had. And yeah, like I, I had nothing but I was I was happy. Our our, our wedding planner, thank like thank goodness she was there. She was the best. Like we. She we, was great. Yeah, I didn't yeah. like we didn't have to worry about anything. It was like too relaxed to me to to the point where I was a little bit stressed. That, am I supposed <laughs> I was to be too relaxed that I was I'm like stressed. am I supposed to be more stressed? But I think it was because I hadn't like everything was taken care of. Um, but like I said, you know, parents are going to be like, "Hey, we should have done this and that." I'm like, "You know what? I'm happy with you know what the thing is, is like no wedding is ever perfect. No. no. You know what I mean? I suppose at ninety percent, that's perfect in my not perfect, but yeah. it's like it's it's good in my great in my books yeah. right there. That's like hundred percent. No wedding's ever perfect. I fucking walked in, I went to the wrong side. <laughs> Billy was so ashamed. Okay, yeah, so that's right. yeah, oh, you yeah, saw yeah, yeah. it too, no, no, right? I missed it. No, I missed it. See, I missed everyone it, but, missed but, it. Thank but, God. But I heard about this. <laughs> I mean, I was there, but <laughs> okay, okay. So. So the line was like you're supposed to go in reverse order lining up. My brothers were behind me because you know, just to make making like I'm not playing any favorites. Brothers are easiest mm. to, to put in the back. Although I had two brothers, I put the oldest one in front of me and behind me because you know it made sense. So the order was supposed to be Boris right behind me to walk in. So I walk in first. My parents, Boris, a buddy Derek, Rattel, uh, Lou, and my two brothers. So we're supposed to go in reverse order. So Boris is supposed to be at the end of the line. And then, you know, Derek's supposed to be to the right of him because we're standing till um, this side or whatever, right? You can't even tell. So, so you know, I walk up first. I say, I get in my spot right in the middle. Boris comes up, daps me. Derek comes up, two sweets me. Rattel walks up, walks around, looks around. Doesn't even make eye contact with me. Like, I swear. Doesn't even make eye contact with me. He walks <laughs> to Boris. I'm like... All right, then. And I went then, to the wrong side. I was supposed to go beside Derek. And then he's supposed to go beside Derek, but he walked past Derek. Derek, I can see Derek's eyes. He's like, and then Boris is like, and then you see Rattel walk right beside Boris, stands there and smiles. And then R Boris is like, Rattel is supposed to be beside Derek or something. I didn't know what yeah, he yeah. said. And you're like, oh, oh, shit. And you shuffle back <laughs> to the other side. But thank, I think luckily everyone was looking at the next person. Next person walking in. in. See, see the, and then Lou came up. That I, he dapped me. And then my brothers, you know, that, that me too. And then. So we talked about this last yeah. episode. So I was walking down, right? I'm walking. And then out of the, my ear, I hear a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that Boris? No. It was fucking bear. bear. I'm bear. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm walking and it totally throws yeah. me off of my groove. <laughs> Yeah. And I, it was all downhill from there. I was sitting right in front of him and all of a sudden I was just. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but, but I will say, I mean, so I didn't see Rattel mess up. 
But I, if you saw the look on his face, him coming in, he was feeling himself, man. You almost would have thought he was getting married. So I think that also threw him off. He was just feeling himself so much. And then Barry That's the why it was just like, yeah. Oh, I was just happy to be there, man. I want to see this raw footage. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things. Dude, there's going to be a lot of different emotions on my face, probably. Yeah, you're just feeling... I feel myself, then confusion, and then, <laughs> and then like, head shake, and then confusion again, and then dread, because I went to the wrong yeah, spot. Yeah, and then we're like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and then uh, I'm fucking standing there, and Lou comes in beside me, and we're, we're standing there, and we're kind of looking at everyone's, you know, watch, watching the next person coming in and whatever. And then Lou whispers over to me. Because <laughs> our friend Daniel was there. And, and, and he's like a tall guy. He's like big dude. He's got these big fucking glasses he's wearing. And Lou just leans over and he's just like, yo, Daniel looks like such a fucking nerd right now, dude. <laughs> and I'm just like, what are you talking about? And I look out and all I see, all I see is Daniel just poking his head out. And it just looked so fucking dude, funny. Dude, I saw that too. Without even, I was <laughs> laughing my ass off. I'm like... Like, and dude, he, it he, took really me... Called, he really called me down because I had to, you know, say a speech and everything. But then I'm like, Dan, man. Because you just got everyone, like, sitting. And then you go, Dan, with his, his, his tall ass and his big glasses just, like... Oh, it looks so fucking funny. I, I was dying. It's unfortunate he couldn't make it to the reception. I, think I know. We would have had so much fun, goddamn. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, I'm glad because everyone I mm -hmm. talked to... So I'm just like, yo, did you see me fuck up my walk-in? Nobody noticed because mm. everyone was paying attention to the next person. Man, Lou took that bullet for you pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Lou legit was taking that bullet. I don't know, man. It was, it was. But uh, that aside, I mean, it was such a, mm -hmm. it was such a fun day. Yeah, I'm kind of sad it's already over, but I can't wait for our, our photographer. Like that's why we, yeah. we we paid for the videographer. We, so we paid for a photographer, um, just to document it because it's that day was a blur. Um, mm -hmm. I was talking to the the photographer. Like sometimes he pulls me aside, like, "Hey, take this in right now. Really think about it. We, we, we mm -hmm. really relax." I'm like, "Oh, thanks," because yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah. like, I was on go 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 time. Like I, of course, I had like three or four hours of sleep. You know, Daffy and the girls only like two, three hours. Like two I gotta hours imagine, sleep. it's like, must be hard to enjoy your own wedding. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, but I was happy because yeah, I yeah. was able to enjoy, you know, a lot of the wedding. I'm, I'm not, I know I'm not gonna enjoy a lot of parts. Like after, okay, after the tea ceremony, if you looked at me, I was freaking haggard, man. I was on the <laughs> stairs fixing my fucking keys. I was like, <sighs> I'm tired, guys. And then, thank, you know, like, like I said, Kimmy was there, Brian's girlfriend was there, you know, um, all the girls were great. Just like try to get me in. No, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> no, Rattel was good. No, I was heckling him when he was like. He oh, was when, I was, was when I was talking. I'm like, come on, man, chop, chop, go faster. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Billy, we we're talking about that last episode. He heckled because you probably couldn't see it, mm -hmm. but he heckled every person who did a speech except for Daffy's cousin. <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> really? I'm like, yo. Oh, that's right. Calm down, just relax. Breathe, breathe. Or that's when okay. you he heckled his mom. <laughs> As your mom goes up, good morning, everyone. I'm like, what the fuck are you hey. talking about? <laughs> hey, mom. It's evening. It's evening. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just like, well, it's morning. <laughs> Billy's mom said it's morning. It's not morning. You yeah. better set that. I know. That's good. That's good. But the funny thing is, I cut a mean promo when I was doing... Uh, <laughs> when, when Billy did speech. his speech, yeah. I was already lo really loose. Like I said, I was having Patron the whole day. I had a few drinks when walking <laughs> no, around. I was loose too, yeah. Man, I was cutting out like Chriselle. That I mean, um, Rattel's uh, girlfriend was like, "Billy, it seemed like you were like the rock out there cutting a promo." I'm like, "Really? <laughs> Hopefully, it wasn't that bad." Like, I was too loose. I was reading. Like, I didn't mess up my Chinese words. I was like, so I was like, it was just so smooth. Like, you, gotta, you guys got to imagine the way Billy did his speech was as if he was in the middle of a fucking wrestling ring talking shit to the crowd or to the next. Oh, dude, I was in. though. I was talking shit to my coworkers <laughs> the whole time. I'm like, <laughs> like, hey, hey. <laughs> Listen up. Call them by name. You know, I, know. I, I called everyone up, man. But, I mean, and I get it. It's a party, but at the same time, like, I feel the same way. I was like, I was like, clapping. I was like, Billy, because, yeah, it's like, yo, I'm talking. Everyone, sit down. Get away from the bar. Sit down. Listen to what I have to say. And they I'm were laughing. Like, they, were, they were pretty drunk when I talked to them the next day. They were like, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you guys we were talking. I called them up. They're like, oh. And they shuffled back and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. The girls you could, like, see, you, could, you could see a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you calling them by name. So yeah, just yeah like, I called people out. Damn. I had, and like, I called my bosses out too. They were like too drunk to actually remember anything. So it was <laughs> fine. Um, yeah, it was great. Like, mm. I, I cut a mean promo. I felt so good, man. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not really, I don't think I'm good at public speaking. Um, I don't know. I, but that day, I, like I said, I was 
rocking a good buzz. So mm. I wasn't. It helps. Uh, yeah, it's your wedding day, man. So they mm. could get away with murder. Were you able? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Were you able to actually pick up a succulent though, like one of those mini? Plants? Yeah, we got two. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah, uh, we did didn't even it? take one. Yeah, it was, uh, did you get lots of gone. leftover? No, we had nothing. Oh, okay. leftover. I was I was fucking feeling really sick on our way home. <laughs> Dude, I was feeling rough. Dude. <laughs> Man, my brother. Yeah, Little shots of Hennessy. Oh. Everyone, everyone was just out at one at a certain point, but <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't complain. You know, I'm pretty sure these guys are you know, done with my my wedding talk. But we've, you know, we've been talking about it a lot. It, but I mean, it's a though. major Great. fucking thing, yeah. dude. Yeah. And uh, it was such a fun time. Like, uh, on, a, on a scale of one to ten, Billy, what would you rate? What would you rate your wedding? Personally, like, it was actually one of my best days of my life, so I had to give it a 10. 10 it's out of 10? It was 10 yeah, out of 10. Oh. I think it is a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Was, mm-hmm. On a scale yeah. of 1 to 10, how would you rate your MC for your wedding? I think uh, 10 out of 10 for Kitty. You did a really Ooh. good job. Oh! <laughs> I mean, Rattel, I give a good 9.9. 9. No, yeah. That's still pretty good. <laughs> no, do what? No, Rattel did a fantastic no, job. I give him a 10 out of 10. Like, I, I have no complaints about Rattel. People were praising him and everything. I'm like, Let's try. I got more. Because I, I thought I did okay, but then everyone was, like, complimenting me afterwards. I'm like, yeah. oh, shit. Okay, thanks. My mom said you were a little boring, but it's okay. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, Did she get my jokes, though? No, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I get not everyone's going to get my humor. I don't know. Well. Like, But then she said you did a really good job. Was, and then she's like, hey, why didn't Bear do it? I'm like, Bear was a little wuss. Scared oh yeah, we did. Bear, well, he offered to bear first, right? Mm-hmm. Mainly because I thought Bear, would, you know, he he he's, doing he's it. He's commentator. He's a fucking commentator, man. He was actually nervous for mine. He's like, no, I can't mm-hmm. do it, man. I feel bad. Dude, like I feel bad you, if I mess up. You know what? If you would have, you know, slipped him a little green, uh, that would have given him a little bit yeah, of that's courage. True, man. That's true. That's true. No, no, he, <laughs> no. I can see. I can see why why Bear wouldn't want to do it because it's a very it's mm-hmm. a it's a lot yeah. of responsibility, mm-hmm. especially for like three hundred people. And especially for like your boy's wedding, you don't want to keep it. You don't want to mess up. That's why I thought Rattel would be done a good job, anyways. Like it was like one of those three. Boris would have went too a little bit overboard, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> You're rolling the dice when you give yeah. Boris a microphone. But I know I trusted Boris to keep it PG thirteen, but he would be a little bit drunk, which is fine. But then. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, Rattel can do it. He just put on his, his podcast We're, persona. Dude, what is fine. going on, everyone? Yeah. But, dude, when, when the guy at the party is saying, yeah, I'm going to make an ass of myself today, I think you did, you made the right choice. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Morris would have been okay. He said that to you, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to try to make a fool of myself. I needed right, Boris there to, to hype up the crowd, yeah. right? He was the hype man that I needed in the back. Like, he will, like, take it. Like, you know, like just mm-hmm. make an ass for himself just for just to make the party start to get the party started or like take a bullet for me that, for that. For sure. so that's why I needed him there. I knew he's going to do that for sure. You know, everyone has reason. In my opinion, when I in all honesty, when I had the uh, the bachelor party, that was pretty much saying that you guys were pretty much all my groomsmen. But I could only pick a certain amount up to what mm-hmm. Daphia said. I know I have certain obligations as well, and I felt really bad for not picking a lot of people because I'm it's, like, it's it was hard, so man. hard for me, man. Like that's why I even told Billy, I'm just like, Billy, don't pick me. <laughs> I know, I know. Because I know it's like it's got to be a hard decision. I know it was it was so hard for me, like legitimate. Like I was like, Daffy, Daffy asked, "Hey, who's your who's your groomsman?" I'm like, "Fuck!" <laughs> like I don't know. I can pick this person. I can pick this person. I, the easiest two were my brothers because yeah, it made it made sense, but everyone else, it was a toss up. Mm. It was a legit toss up. Like there was, n- I would have been okay with anyone at the group. Pretty at much the- anyone from the cruise, I'm sure, could have been up mm-hmm. there easily. Like, mm-hmm. Inter- interchangeable, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I wanted the other the, the guys who I called up to suffer, so I want everyone else to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was it was it was tough, man. It was one of the toughest mm-hmm. decisions. And that's why I picked my brother as my best man because I'm like, you know, mm-hmm. what? I can't I can't pick yeah. anyone. It was it was it was way too hard. No, for sure. That's why I was talking to Boris, and he was talking about like a wedding too. And if he he was to get married, and he's like, yo, we would pick twelve and twelve <laughs> because I can't. And I'm just like, what the fuck? You have a wedding party of twenty four people. <laughs> out of your mind it's hard though <laughs> yeah. some people might take it like i think you know thank goodness like all all my like all our guys are like really chill with it yeah, like, yeah. They're like you know it's understandable that like, you can't but like that's just for me though i, I mm. want to include everyone mm. as well i'm i that's that's why during the wedding i didn't really ha- get a chance to actually dance until i thanked everyone mm. personally mm-hmm. and i legitimately did that i went around mm-hmm. the table when everyone was dancing they're like, oh, where, where's Daphne? I'm like, oh, she's dancing. I went around the, every table. Even her friends asked him, like, hey, you guys all good? You want more drinks or anything? At my own wedding. 
Bussing tables? Bussing tables, pretty much. <laughs> and I felt, I'm like, why am I doing this at one point? But I'm like, wait a minute, I'm just thanking everyone. You know, just to read, like, that's I think that's I a nice thing to do, though. Like, yeah. if, if it was my wedding, yeah. I'd probably feel obligated to do the same thing. Because, yeah. you know, everyone's coming out for you. Exactly. And I personally, I wanted to personally mm-hmm. thank everyone. I get that. You yeah. know, it was, it was, and, you know, I, I personally think I achieved that goal. Dude, that was 300 people there. Okay, I had to thank like 280 by myself. Mm-hmm. Like no one, everyone else was dancing and drunk at that point. Me, I kept it a good buzz mm-hmm. and I, you know, you know, showed everyone my love, make sure everyone here was like, you know, was happy and, you know, hopefully had a good time. And make sure everyone picked up a succulent because those are pretty, pretty <laughs> amazing. Well, the girls, they spent like three days working on that shit. <laughs> yeah, they did. It they was... spent a <laughs> long fucking time because they like hand wrapped each one. Mm-hmm. Oh. I was like, fuck that. No, Ar- Arthur, Arthur was a champ. He was there yeah. with me in the morning and like he, he brought over the succulents as well. Yeah. It was, it was great, man. Like I, I had, it was, had no what was the this. highlight of the day? You know what was really fun when we went and did all the table toasts? We were talking about that last episode. Table toasts was fun. Table toasts were mm-hmm. super fun. But obviously when I put the ring on her, I'm like, yes, yeah. that's done. It's over. <laughs> Sealed the deal. <laughs> it's over. Just, yeah. So I, I was I was happy once once we got that. Um, none of that, like, you know, the, all, everything was just so memorable for me. Mm-hmm. I, I remembered every single part. You know, people kept trying to grab me. Like, hey, let's get a drink. Let's get a shot. I'm like, hey, I got to say hi to people. You know, you got to understand. <laughs> and everyone, this yeah. Shit. And everyone was, like, really respectful for me. <laughs> and also because they were so drunk to remember they're back yeah. to bring me back. <clears throat> I was like, yes. I was, um, at the end of the night, like, all I did was just... Like daff it passed out. I was about to say, yeah, so so after the wedding, you guys you guys stayed at mm-hmm. a hotel. How was that? Uh dude, I was like Daffy passed out right away. Like she went on the couch, passed out. I was taking a shower. <laughs> Wait, she, she passed out on the couch? I mean on the bed. <laughs> I I <laughs> You sleeping on the couch it, tonight. It, it, <laughs> I was taking a shower and I'm like just sitting on the on on the shower, I'm like the shower floor with like they had it was a really nice hotel. And then there was like the um, what's it called? The Shower head. The shower head was like the, the what's it called? The, the rainfall, waterfall. Mm, mm, shit. I was sitting there. I'm like, shit. It's fucking finally over. <laughs> and I was so tired. I, I just couldn't get up. I was just sitting there for like legit 20 minutes. Like just sitting, sitting, just staring at a, like, at the, what's it called? And just like recuperating and just, you know, playing, replaying the day back. And uh, yeah. so I was just very happy with it. But I was just so, like, pretty much like beat. I sure. was done. Um, don't get married. <laughs> Unless you know, don't throw a huge wedding. Um, but Vegas, baby. It, no, it was it was a hundred percent worth it. Um, no. Yeah, man. Anything else? What's new with you, Ben? <laughs> uh, legend started up again, so oh, I'm back on back, the grind. Get back to work. Back, back to twerk. Back to twerk, man. So, but it's it's good. I mean, I. It's a weird thing with this crew. It's almost like a family thing because most of the crew is back so like i already know all the people everyone's super chill what, what season is this season four. Oh shit they lasted uh, that long yeah yeah they've been <laughs> yeah good. they're going good uh and so it's chill the cast is great and again just because we we ended on the high note like everyone so it's it's very chill very late i mean the work it can be crazy and stressful but like the chemistry with people is yeah. just good it's nice because we're we're out in the sun um so i'm just soaking up the sun looks like it yeah I, I, and it's a good life i mean i i don't want i can't really say much on what what we're shooting and whatnot but uh um, right totally cat yeah you get but, fired yeah. Do you do they make you like pictures. sign I, NDAs up the yeah. ass? Oh, totally. Well, no. I mean, just from the get go, you do. Yeah, you yeah. sign. You sign one sheet of it, and that's it. <clears throat> right, right, right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll show you guys pictures later. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, what are we gonna do? We're not gonna steal a picture. Yeah. Well, exactly. But um, I'm gonna leak that shit. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I've started playing Horizon again because I found I want to finish it. And you're at your new place now, right? You, yeah. You moved not too long ago. Moved back in May, I believe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, because it's yeah, it's been a little while since we've really had a chance to, to talk. I guess so what's the new place like? How's that? It's great. Uh, it's a little, just a little bit smaller, but it's nicer. No one's lived in the basement, so oh, and yeah. all the yeah, appliances yeah. are new, so everything is just brand brand new. Um, what else? I mean, the, the old place was great, but this one has the washer and dryer, like our old one. There's a, there's a, the nice thing about it is there's a crawl space in there. 
So we just can toss a lot of things in there so the place can still... Yeah, yeah. Everything, the livable shit. space looks cleaner. Not as cluttered. And tidier. And exactly. Uh, what else can I tell you? I mean, yeah, I'd gotta, I still got to get you guys over yeah. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to check it out. But You know, make me some tacos. After the honeymoon. Make, make some tacos. Yeah, heck yeah. We got to get some tacos going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, Damien's going to be going to you school still in the fall. Tacos. Yeah, I know. I, I, I do owe you tacos. I legitimately owe you tacos. What was this? I fixed his computer for He brought it to life. My laptop literally died. Like, there was it was dead. And Rattel virtually gave it mouth to mouth and brought it back to life. It's like a year ago. I'm still waiting. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I, know. No, I don't forget. Dog. I know. Dude, no, I, forget think, tacos. I, I don't like being in debt, all right? Especially I don't for like tacos, being in man. debt. But, and I would make you my ta- like some tacos. But I want you to have the best, and that requires Damien's hand. <laughs> the one who's not from El Salvador. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Hey. Girl girl can cook. She's good at what she does. Cool, man. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Otherwise, just plug in away. I mean, uh, I made it today because we, we had a – we ended earlier. It was a shorter day, but things in the truck took a lot longer, so that's why – I mean, I'm as late as I wanted it's to. It's not that late. Sorry, it's yeah, not. But I mean, I, I I could have, like, at least made it like at at eight thirty, like I said I would have. Yeah, but yeah, I love We're supposed to start at seven thirty. Yeah. Are we? Well, that was the original plan, but yeah, things never go according to plan. Bill, you're about to leave. Oh yeah. You're going for your it's for your honeymoon, right? Honeymoon, yeah. Where you Where are you going? Indonesia, Bali, baby. Indonesia, ooh, Bali. Shout outs to whoever's in Bali. It's like, oh shit! That's All of Billy. our Bali we're, listeners. Yeah, we're any Bali listeners out there? Like, oh shit! That's Billy. I'm like, who the fuck are you? Oh, Don't bother me on my honeymoon, man. I'll be a dick. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Nobody it, from Bali watches this show. Hold up. Is there any lady boys up there, or is there only in Thailand? I don't even know, man. There's lady boys I'm, everywhere. I'm now sure if you look hard you. enough, there's gonna be some lady boys there. If that's your thing. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. They can hit on me all they want. I'm already taken. Sorry, ladies. Oh. No, it's not gay if it's a girl's dick. I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's fine if I get hung by guys. That means that I'm appreciated by both genders, man. Do you know how yeah. nice that is? No, it's yeah. true. For real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, wh- why nice. why Bali? Um, I think just when we want to go to some place that we don't, we, we won't go crazy for tourist stuff. Because, like, when, it's true. when we go to, um, when we go anywhere, like, her and I, we, we just go. Like, we vacation hard. Yeah, we vacation hard. As in, like, we tour everything. We see all the sites. Mm. We go to all the like the spots. Um, it's exhausting, man. Yeah, That's why, exactly. Like, ben was t- telling us about his Mexico trip, and it's just like, yeah, it's like. You go every day. It's you're, work, you're, man. You're, it's you're, work. Yeah. So that's why we're like, you know what? We're gonna go to Bali. We're gonna hit up all the places in the beginning, like mm-hmm. all, all the temples and all the beaches. All the beaches. <laughs> hit up all the beaches, man. <laughs> And then, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna chill um, at a hotel. Are you staying in like a resort or are you doing? Yeah, the hotel resort. Oh, okay, okay, um, okay. I mean, we're like we're, on the beach. Uh, yes and no. On the beach is like pretty much double the price. So we just got our own private like private villa with a private pool and a private like Ooh, view and everything. Ooh, damn. Yeah. damn. Yeah. How long are you there for? Eleven days. So it'd be nice. Like I really need. Like I'm more excited for this than my wedding. No, I, of course. Because <laughs> like absolutely, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm done with all the wedding stuff. So I'm like, yes, I can finally shit. chill and relax. And that's like the hardest thing. The past the past three months, it was all about the wedding. Yeah. The oh, last the last three weeks <laughs> was all about my cut. I got so hung- apparently I was always hangry. The last three weeks, because, <laughs> right? Because you were, because yeah, because you were basically cut carbs from your diet. You did. Like, no, basically my carbs. diet almost, but it's like I I needed carbs because I was still hitting the weights hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? And I I did forget to mention. I mean, everyone looked phenomenal, but legit Billy, I was like, holy crap! I can't like Billy is looking like at his prime right now. He's looking like all clean shaven. The suit fit like perfectly. He got his hair did. Like it was. Like, did you eh. Did you notice? He had two different hair uh, hairstyles. 
throughout no, the day? No, I didn't. He had his he had his stylist on location. <laughs> she was at night. You yeah. look ten years younger, dude. In the Thanks, in the man. good way, Thanks, like in a man. good. I was like, dang. And then runner up, Rattel, man, legit. Oh, thanks, like man. you look, you look dang good. I mean, again, I, and I told you, but Damien was like, because she hasn't seen me in a little while. And she's yeah. like, "Where's Rattel? Like, where's <laughs> where's the rest of them?" But slowly, slowly disappearing. Yeah. You got, yeah, no, you guys, you guys looked really good. Rattel swapped pants in the morning. Did you it's true story? because it's did so. You, did you tell a story? To <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, did it? To- <laughs> Ooh, yeah. So, uh, so I was like, because Billy like provided the suits for us, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know, we paid him back and whatever. But, uh, and, and so, you know, he got us, this is way back in what, February, January, February, February, February. And that's when I was just starting keto. So, you know, I wasn't, uh, as skinny as I am now. And so I, I got the pants, you know, whatever bigger. fitted for mm-hmm. what I was at the time, but obviously that a lot has changed since then. <laughs> and so when I, I first, when I put my pants back, I was like, Oh fuck, they're super loose. And then I'm just like, ah, oh. so I went and got my jacket tailored anyway. So I got them to, to do to do my pants, but they only do the waist. Yeah. And so when you get a larger waist, obviously the the, the legs yeah. fit, you no, know, like better as well. Um, they they don't they don't do the legs rather. Mm. So like my waist was fine, but now all of a sudden my pant legs are like yeah. super loose. I'm just like, what the fuck? So it looks kind of weird. And then our other friend Derek, who's been biking a shitload, <laughs> he's like, oh man, my pants are super tight now because <laughs> his thighs are all huge from doing all the biking. And so we're just like. <laughs> <laughs> we literally right there swap pants and it was perfect and it worked yeah. it was like I perfect would, uh, yeah Derek's a little shorter than Rattel so mm-hmm. his pants were a little my higher. pants were a little it's so funny because when I like when we were in like the uh, the car like you know when you're sitting in a car your pants your legs are a little bit higher because yeah. you're sinking a bit more into the seats than a regular chair and my, my pant legs were literally like up to my shit <laughs> <laughs> but it was fine when we were standing up it was fine when we were standing up and then when we were at dinner it was totally fine you couldn't notice I mean you gotta Good socks too. Exactly, I was wearing my Thanos socks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it was. It worked out. It worked out really well. Um, that was pretty funny when I saw the swap. I think hopefully someone took a picture of that. Hopefully our, our photographer took a picture. of that. I don't think he did, but that's okay. I don't remember. We'll see. We'll it's see. a good. It's a good story. Yeah, it's a good story. We had some good like little tidbits here and there. Um, Actually, yeah. <laughs> fucking, we were taking pictures and we were telling stories last week. Um, we were just being so fucking stupid. Oh my god! With our photographers and Boris with all of his accents and shit, oh. shit got real offensive. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, look, buddy, buddy. That's all I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> um, but in three weeks from today, I'm officially a homeowner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, as you can see, packing is very far along. Not, it hasn't happened. It hasn't even started, man. We're. I feel like there's more things than last time I came. <laughs> there's yeah, even dude, more too, stuff man. than I'm, last yeah, time. It just seemed like it. You got a lot of stuff to get rid of, man. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff to get it's, rid of. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a fun move. You guys gonna help? Uh, yeah, dude. I, I already told you. I'm, you let me know which days I'm. I'll, well, I'll as, help pack. Them. Saturdays, like Saturday, I'll be there. Okay, because Saturday is the day. We yeah. already booked. I booked the truck. We're getting a big ass truck, and uh, we got our we got our like plastic bins that we're renting to help move everything, and then yeah we're we'll have like after we move like we move on the fourth we'll have eleven days to clear out everything that we're mm-hmm. not keeping we need to get rid of, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah fuck I just want it to be done I want to like fast forward the clock yeah like I know what you mean That's four weeks <laughs> I just same want as it me, to be like, done man. building my 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 unit remember like oh that's right <laughs> Billy, how long did that shit take you took me three months man. three months you want to reno my place mm, no way <laughs> <laughs> how much time we need to do we just want to repaint and we want to redo the floors can you do that mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> floors take a lot of time man isn't it's painting like, like really shitty too oh, painting's the worst the floors are fun I'm gonna tell you that because you get the chop Shit. Yeah, but we got we got some interesting angles on some of our walls. It would not be fun doing our Dang. floors. I could do it. It's just like I said, it takes a lot of effort and time. I don't want to do it. Thanks, dog. Have you seen? Have you seen my? There's, there's not that many like in, intricate like. Well, yeah, your place it's a fucking rectangle. It's easy. <laughs> there's some places like like under the doors and everything. Yeah. Like, well, actually, no. It. Some of the rooms are actually kind of like strangely shaped too, right? Yeah, the one in the one back. of them's like curved, and what doesn't doesn't one of them have just like a straight up circle on it or something? Yeah, shit? and yeah. that's and we did that one. Me and my uncle did that one. It was like it was like some geometry longest, shit. Yeah, it was the longest thing we can do. 
<laughs> like Long's room that we took was that was that closet. It was insane. Was the that... inside of the closet. You should have just left it fucking. <laughs> no, it was nice. Dirt. <laughs> it's <laughs> so nice now, though. So Not I even a concrete just, foundation. Yeah, yeah. That goes straight grass. into that soil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun, man. It'll be good. But it'll be it'll suck because you're gonna be like. Hey, believe we're ready whenever you are. And I'll be like, well, give me five minutes and I come over. Well, give, me, t- give me five months. <laughs> well, no, no, the, the truth is, though, is that it, we're only going to be like a five-minute drive away. Yeah, I'll be like, I got to drive. No, nah, yeah. homie, it's like 10-minute drive. Maybe from 15 you. 15-minute drive. No, even from here. No. To New West? Six, seven minutes at least. It gets bad. Seven. It gets pretty bad. It depends on traffic, there's a lot, there's a lot of stoplights. Yeah, especially the area. But it's not far. It's not far. I'm not saying it's far. I'm just saying it takes around 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. Right. I would, I'm not 15. All right. well, I've done the drive several times. Okay, well, never mind then. If you've done the drive, then we'll you've done 15. the drive. It'll be 10 max. Okay, no, yeah. Definitely right. not okay. 15. Like 10 max if you get really unlucky with the lights. And I usually do, so, yeah. Yeah, it's going to suck. So I was thinking we probably have one more podcast session in this room and then it's over. You take a hiatus for like what? Well, I'm going to have to take two, at least two weeks off. <laughs> unless, unless you guys do like a, a crazy marathon like next week or this week. Well, we're going to have to do it like this weekend. This weekend's good. Like, we'll see if anyone's free Sunday or Monday or some shit. So that's the thing. Like, I won't be here for like the second Well, you're gone. Time. So you're the, Billy, this is your last podcast in this in room. This room. It's, it's, yeah. 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 That's actually very true. It's very sad. A lot of memories in this house, man. A lot of memories, dude. A lot of memories. Yeah, we got to take a picture of, um, you know, just, you know, returning the keys just like from friends, you know? Oh, that's true. It's the end of an era. Yeah, it is. It is. It's five (laughs) years. Wait, wait. Yeah, this is a big deal. Billy won't be your landlord anymore. Billy won't be my landlord anymore. It's a big deal. Yeah. Not my we were doing barbecues we've done at the back ghetto ass barbecues and then we got a good barbecue we got a good barbecue how many yeah. good barbecues we had here yeah. how many 24 hour streams we had here yeah streams podcast recordings you might not even do that anymore huh actually podcast no, no, listen, did the podcast start here yeah. yes it did right yeah, yeah. everything started I, here I mean, man i just remember a lot of crap went down in your old place too we had lots of fun there yeah we did but then you you went on your mission for a while remember well no that was after after yeah. the mission is when he was back by the time. Yeah, because oh, okay. we started jamming at your, at your old space. Oh fuck! And then right. we did some slender there. We oh, did. Yes. We did all Bunch sorts of smash. Of, tons of smash. We, we did a ton of crap. Like I remember that. I, that's where things began for me, anyways. Mm-hmm. I felt. Yeah, things began for me and Rattel. Oh well, yeah, after that too, I came over a few times and we played mm-hmm. hockey and stuff together. And that's stuff. right. So, oh, that's right. Because uh, Billy, yeah, he was. <laughs> we played hockey together. He'd always have to drive me right. home all the way. I I used to live like. Much further away, not super far, but no. an inconvenient. Yeah. But it was okay drive. because I was still in school. I didn't have nothing to do. Yeah, well, school was. <laughs> I was in school. I didn't have anything to do. Right. Well, no, I can just like fuck. I'm but not I feel like we're like we were in our like we were like twenty, twenty one. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I we're feel like, like nineteen. Yeah, we're we're young yeah. as fuck. Yeah. It was a long time ago. It was a long time. <laughs> it was a long, it's ago. unreal. How long, long it's fucking time. Yeah, I feel like you have more energy back then too. Yeah. You can do your late nights and early mornings. It doesn't really affect you Dude, that much. Dude, man, we were playing Left 4 Dead until like yeah. four in the morning. Oh, like, fuck, I'll <laughs> never forget the time I played Left 4 Dead. This was Christmas yeah. night. Yeah. Christmas night, and I worked here in Canada. We had Boxing Day, one of the biggest retail days of the year. And I was working at Best Buy, and we were up till fucking <laughs> five in the morning. <laughs> Playing Left for Dead, and I started at six a.m. <laughs> I gotta go to work. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I gotta go to work, guys. I remember like, like, all right, I, we're gonna go to sleep. You know, I drank was, like a whole pot of coffee. And I, I remember like, oh, that. Ow. And that was like one of our fondest memories of playing yeah. Left for Dead the, uh, on the Xbox Live. On the Xbox yeah, and, 360. And and that like, not even I, the PC. I know nothing's gonna be like it, but that's why I'm like, fingers crossed that Fallout might bring <laughs> some of that might bring some of those memories back it's gonna be hard man you need a game that can bring it together divinity is one of the ones. divinity is really good we've been playing a lot of divinity but recently before that's i have before like i have like three different campaigns going on with like three different groups of friends in that game right my now. group is the best because i'm fucking <laughs> I, I fuck shit up as a cleric and all of the campaigns are saved on my fucking <laughs> machine so i always have to play why but um I don't really care. the game that we that we actually really gravitated towards that you guys never played was destiny well, at least, at least I felt like it was like me and Bear. We were so fucking into Destiny One. You guys were. We were so into that game. It's like it's like it a was too much. Poor man's wow, in my it was... opinion. My poor man's wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Billy with the truth. A game hasn't really hooked me like Destiny One in a long time. Yeah, it's called Wow. That's why. More than League. Mm. Mm. It's so free. Because I mean, 
after Left 4 Dead League, like we were, I, I feel we were Everyone all on League, League hard, man. We, we were, were this stuck is very on true. it. This is very true. But well, but Destiny was after League though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So okay. so since, since Destiny, since. nothing since. Right, right, right. Because so, yeah, okay. the League craze really kind of hit before Destiny. All right, um. But yeah, we all. That's the, the difference is though we all fucking played League. Yeah. Is you guys didn't play Destiny, but yeah, we had a lot of good times playing League of Legends. Holy so, shit! It's so funny. I actually played three days ago, four days ago with Lou, mm-hmm. just randomly. He's like, "Hey, let's play some Aram." I'm just like, "Really? <laughs> <laughs> let's fucking do it." <laughs> Hilarious. And fuck, that game has changed so much. I know it's changed a lot for since better season. or. Well, well, I guess I guess change has changed, so it's hard to no say. ADC now, apparently. The ADC no ADC? Well, there are ADCs, but they're not viable. No, they don't. They're what? not viable. They, do you know who they pick? They pick a freaking AP down there now. Well, of man. course. AP, no, it's AP and a support. But, but so what? That's so, their ADC now. So it's like no attack damage. It's just because atta- games games end way sooner than they used to. Like the 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 meta is like you just like snowball. You snowball. You need a snowball heavy champ like. Late game hyper carries, they don't exist. Like no. they're you're no fucking vain. you're gonna lose by before that happens. Like big team fights and the Naz Nexus is. pushes will happen before you can hit your power spike. Nasus though. <laughs> Nas- yeah, Nas- no, there's no more Nasus. <laughs> no more Nasus. But I mean they kinda yeah. need to change the meta, right? No, no, of course. Like, I been, mean every every season it makes sense. Yeah. You know, change, change it up. They they should mm-hmm. do drastic changes every season, I think. And they're doing a great job in my opinion. It's still it's still active. Like know. it's still one of the biggest games in the world. It has fallen off a little yeah. bit. It's not as big like you you got the big, you got the fucking PUBGs well, the, and the, exactly. the Fortnite, which have kind of really taken those over. Those guys are like, they're really, they're just fads. They are fads. Yeah. I think so too. Guess what game that will, will never die off is, is, is like stuff Solitaire. like League, Dota, CS, CS yeah. of yeah. course. Like, CS has been around since the fucking and, and early like, 2000s, man. Yep. And StarCraft. Like those Starcraft. good games don't go away. Good games mm-hmm. are so balanced. Built like on a that. solid like foundation, right? Mm-hmm. They're not gonna go away. Fortnite's built on a gimmick, really. Yeah, yeah. it really is. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like I people know are so lot. skilled. It's great. Like, it's a so, great like game. and you can be good at Fortnite. Like you mm-hmm. watch someone like fucking like Shroud or some shit who plays like Ninja or Ninja. Like they're and they're just so fucking they're godlike at the game. Man. And it's like clearly, yeah, there's there's skill, but there is a lot of randomness yeah. in that fucking game. That's why. Um, but I mean, that's I guess that's that's part of the appeal. That's yeah. why I, I kind of want to play CS again, but no one wants to play CS with me. It's so damn hard. So and I get hard. really, really, really heated. I feel like the that. people who still play CS are probably so good at the game. Not necessarily. Point. No, really? like I okay. So funny story. Last year, I went to I went to Vietnam with my brother and my my family to go to uh, my cousin's engagement. We actually logged, we went to like an uh, internet cafe because we're like, do you know what? I want to play some CS. Like, my cousin's oh, damn, like, damn, that is awesome. I want to play some CS. I'm like, whoa, CS, really? I'm like, all right. So we walk into the cafe. Granted, me and my brothers are like two feet taller than everyone as well. <laughs> so like, everyone's like, all these like little, like little Vietnamese kids were just looking at us. And like, Brian's a pretty big dude. Yeah. I'm pr- like, for, yeah. me, for my size compared yeah, to those kids, you, like, you, I'm huge. And they walk in and then we we're just playing, uh, we we're just playing like the. the did you body them? Yeah, we bodied those guys. Oh, we had five. Did and you have we your gunners were, on? No, we did that. So we had, he we had like he didn't need them, man. <laughs> <laughs> after after the five minutes, he's like, you haven't even seen my no. final form. So we had we had we had like fives, right? So it was me, my two cousins, and my uh, cousin's uh, cousin's boyfriend that we were playing, and we were just playing with uh, with like people in like the Southeast Asia like server. Yeah. We we're just killing them, mm. and like obviously we can't like they're all typing Chinese and shit. So like we're like I'm like what the hell are you guys saying? Like we're just like all these like. Sure. Canadians and we're just fucking ripping them apart and I'm like I thought these people would be better yeah, yeah. but I just like, I just well isn't your account. brother like really godlike at the game <laughs> yeah, he seems like he's a little he, I think he's almost global elite at one Jesus. point uh, I was I was like double eagle something so and then we, we bought yeah, new too. accounts <laughs> like I was like yeah double like uh, legendary eagle whatever and I bought like a new account and something, and we just we just played it there. Did you get some land matches going with the kids there? No, they were oh. they they. I don't know what the fuck they were talking. Oh, about. Yeah. Like, well, mostly my cousins <laughs> knew, but they're like, no, let's keep playing online, keep playing online. And yeah, we just kept playing, and like we we were like ten and zero. My my cousin went from like silver one yeah. to like to like gold because we just carried him because he's winning every game, even though he had like two three kills. Me and my brother up top played like. 20 something 30 something kills yeah, yeah. like 2 3 deaths or something 0. 0.3 KDA yeah it was, <laughs> of course it was it was insane but now I'm I'm pretty sure I'm garbage because I haven't pl- touched that game in like a year and then before no, that like you'd be surprised more. like I jump back on to like uh, Street Fighter or some shit like I'm not very good at the game but I can still definitely mm. like 
I, I bet like the people who play online still have been playing online and playing the game a lot more than me. But I can still kick some ass. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, Same that's with what, when I jump into Tekken. It's they, like, no, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, they should be better, but they're yeah. not. It's like, yeah, d- yeah don't uh, don't assume too much from everyone. <laughs> like, no, just no. Just because they play the game a lot doesn't mean they're good. Yeah. Um, we're going to just uh, jump into some questions from the Top Tier Podcast community over the Discord. You guys can send in questions via email at toptierpodcast at gmail.com or via the community Discord. Uh <clears throat> This is a question from... How would you pronounce that? Sito? Sito? Or Patan? Peyton? Peyton? Like Satan. <laughs> Peyton. <laughs> I don't think it's Peyton. <laughs> do any of you believe in aliens? If so, do you have any stories? It does not have to be personal experiences. It can be stories uh, from a friend or family member. Yes, no. Next question. <laughs> Uh, I agree with Ben. Yes, I do believe in aliens. No, I never had any encounters or any family members that have had encounters. I mean, if we're like, if the universe is so vast, we're just, just, bound to be just aliens. statistically speaking, there's no way we're the only ones. You know, dude. What what we probably can't say is they're smarter than us because they've probably already seen us and they're looking at us <laughs> and they're like, why do they keep gunning each other down? Why do you keep killing each other? It's like, anyways, I think I, I like to think that. I like to think that they could see us and they're like, nah, nah, no, it's like, I ain't touching that. It's, <laughs> it's like a depressing thing because there are probably like, there's probably other life out there, but they're so fucking far away that we'll never be able to contact each other. And even like, even if we did through a fucking telescope or some shit, find life on another planet, right? So are you dead? That the people yeah. that we are seeing or whatever, the, the life... It, they're fucking. That's like from yeah. ye- hundreds of years ago, <laughs> thousands, billions. It's like it's billions, insane. Yeah. It's such a crazy thing to think about. Yeah. Well, you don't have to think about other life forms. There's life forms that are like on this earth. I mean, <laughs> listen, think. Okay, yes. so go, 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 go. There are things at the bottom of the ocean we haven't even fucking <laughs> discovered. <laughs> Dude, I mean, and that's how I feel. But I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I think space is awesome and exploration yeah. and whatnot. And maybe it's easier to go into space, but then I'm like, man, but just in the water, like there's so much we we don't know and haven't seen. And yeah. more and more I find like like stories that you hear like I hear stories about like scuba and how hard it is and how the pressure, it, the pressure, dude. It's exactly. so dangerous and down so there. So I'm just like, dang, it seems like the water is more dangerous than space. It is. The planet's scary as fuck. You need someone like James Cameron to go down there. <laughs> you know, he went down in a fucking submarine the to Titanic, the bottom right? of Mariana's trench. Dang. And oh, we're gonna try to talk Titanic, <laughs> <laughs> but he directed Titanic, sure. But he just, went down there, just, too, didn't he? Uh, to I forgot what Titanic. the reason was, just to say he fucking did it or some bullshit. But it's but, but it's and they discovered like all kinds of crazy shit. There's it, life forms down there, totally. Living. Why wouldn't there be? But there wouldn't be because you wouldn't think because the fucking water what? pressure is just so insane. So they the adapted. things are just so evolution's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, and just. Fuck, it's 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 just crazy, and they can somehow feed and sustain themselves with zero light. It's like pitch black down there. It's just, I don't you know, need crazy. light. You all you need is water. Water it's is true. a source of life, man. Yeah. It really is. Use the element which brings life. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if you got that. <laughs> if you got that fucking reference. I fucking hate that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I bought I bought the Blu-ray. Of he it, just bought, he just bought me a Blu-ray randomly. I'm like, I'm like oh I found this in, 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 in the uh, States, Best Buy like, in the oh, States. Shit. I gotta buy this. Hold up. I mean, it's not related, but it is a movie. You guys see Unbreakable, right? It's funny. We I was watching it like yesterday. <laughs> I've never watched Unbreakable. It was on cable, dude. Okay, so hold up. Now I saw something, and maybe it's a hoax, and I haven't looked into it. But is they coming out? Is Glass a real thing? Yep. I'm excited for that. Okay, I'm okay, legit yeah. excited for that. Sp- Spoiler warning if you haven't seen I haven't watched the it. movie Split. Have you seen Split? No. Split is with who? It is with James McAvoy. Yeah, it's with me. Uh, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Big, again, spoiler warning, big twist at the end of the movie is you find out it takes place in the same universe as Unbreakable. Woo! <laughs> what happened? Okay. Damn. Yeah, you gotta watch I, it I, I, you gotta watch watch I mean, everyone saw me like watch it. I didn't know that. I wish I didn't I, know I, that. I'm sorry, but, but no, 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 but no. It, it's, it has nothing to do with the core story no, of the no, plot. No. It's literally just like it's literally just something they throw at the end. They 
absolutely did not need to do that. Right. It's just something. And it's so funny because I was watching it with my girlfriend. And I already knew about it. And it still mm. didn't affect my enjoyment of the movie. I still right. liked it. And my girlfriend's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> she's like, she, you know, it, it's almost tacked on in a way. Like, it doesn't need to be right. at all. Because you just see fucking Bruce Willis at a diner, right? And But so anyways, now they're making a, a, a sequel directed Glass. by M. Night Shyamalan called Glass. And it's got fucking Samuel Jackson back as Mr. Glass is the big villain, right? And then you got... Uh, so basically the story revolves around... Um, What's his name? Bruce oh, Bruce Willis, but yeah. Dave Dunn or some shit. I can't remember his name. Some shit like that. He's the security guard, right? Yeah. And he's tracking down um, James McAvoy's character. Mm. And the, so it's kind of like he's, they're bringing these two fucking characters together and somehow Mr. Glass fits in there. Dude, I, I mean, it's, it's Magneto. Love, he's, he's seeking Magneto <laughs> and then we got Black Magneto. But if you guys haven't seen like Unbreakable is a fucking old movie at this yeah. point. It's like from what, 99 or 2000? 20 years old now, man. It was actually 2001? It's an old one. Yeah, I think it was the movie right after Sixth Sense. Between Signs mm. and Sixth Sense. Pretty sure. Man, what happened to M.I. Shyamalan though? Do you know what? Talk all the shit you want about M. Night Shyamalan. His last two movies I liked. Which one was it? His, so he, he did he did Split. Split. And uh, I don't know if he directed it, but he did The Visit. Have you guys seen The Visit? No. Oh, it's, it's, it's not it's, a great movie. It sounds like an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah. But it's about the kids who go and spend their weekend with, uh, or spend like a week or whatever with their grandparents. Hmm. And their grandparents are just like weird. There's something off about them. But it's, it's, like, it's a horror movie. Okay. It sounds like Get Out. And, uh, and, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay. Okay. Right, it's we'll nothing. See. It's not this crazy fucking right. revelatory but, but, piece of cinema, but I enjoyed it. Like what a twist. And there's there a, a twist? twist in the movie. Of course. No, it's M. Yeah, it's fucking M. There, there has to be a twist. If it's there like, is a, not a twist at the end of the movie, I'm almost disappointed. It, it, it's like a Quentin movie about someone getting shot. Like you just like, you need a twist. It's, it's like true. a Quentin movie without a shot of feet. You need them, yeah, dude. Yeah, you need them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Quentin Tarantino has got a foot fetish. There's yeah. always a scene revolving a foot in every one of his movies. You, we, we never... Wiggled it's okay. Toe, we, we can continue with the questions, but we never talked about the solo movie. I haven't seen it. Oh. I haven't seen it. I haven't watched the, the, so, the second... It's the end of that conversation. Yeah, I really... <laughs> dang it. Well, I really enjoyed it. So, I, do so I, I know a lot of people were shitting on it, but it's like the hate bandwagon. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, so, like, people hate just the hate. You know what? And I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. That movie was great. It it's really a, was. It's so funny because every person I talked to said they liked it a lot. I, well, I had zero expectations mm -hmm. and I thought it was going to be trash. And I'm not a Solo fan. I don't care for Han Solo. Mm -hmm. But this movie, like, it was, I feel, very true to the character. It made me want to go back and play Mass Effect. <laughs> to be honest. Because <laughs> does he assemble a crew? <laughs> no, he did it. He did it. But uh, no, but it was like great. One of the I, lines in the movie. I'm putting together a crew. They do that in every fucking movie. I, okay, yeah. But it was great. <laughs> I, I I recommend it. If people like sci-fi, you like like a space cowboy movie, then go watch it because it was amazing. It's like I even think the Last Jedi, while it's not the greatest movie, got more hate than it deserved. For sure. Dude, I loved it too. Yeah, I, 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 it I and, you haven't watched it. And no. I'm, you know, and again, I'm not. A, like a fanboy for Star Wars by any means. Me neither. But last, like last, I thought it was brilliant. Like I just yeah. watched it again a week or two ago. I, mean, I want to watch it again because I've only seen it one time. I got watched it. Watch it. And I haven't watched it. Yet, really? So we, it, we can watch it. Again. And it's brilliant. Again, yeah. people just hate because they're, they're not hating, right? because they're racist. Is why they are because <laughs> they're true. not caught up with the times. That's true. I heard about like the hate of why they hate like hating the like the, the Asian girl. The, like, yeah, the Asian girl. Just like I mean, it's not her fault that the lines suck. It seems like. Oh, some of the writing was suspect. Yeah, is that what the main complaint well, is? A lot of people, because people were like disliked, like the the whole Finn and I forgot the girl's name. The the like, the, the, the the Asian girl though, right? Yeah, yeah, the Asian girl. And because like, I guess they built up almost like, because in the first movie they kind of hinted at like some sort of romance between Ray and Finn, right? Yeah. But now she kind of comes in and. And. But I I think that's okay. I didn't care for I her. Don't ca I don't care. I, I, like I don't care for her. But I'm not gonna go and say that she ruined the movie. And like, first of all, the actors have no say in it. Blame the mm. writers. Like people always like crap on people. For example, like Jared Leto's like, I'm, oh, that was the worst Joker. I was and just, just like, about dude, to fucking say Jared, Jared Leto. Leto killed it. He was phenomenal. What sucked was, was the, the writing. It's the like, fucking exactly. movie itself. Like, like the dude didn't have he, 
doesn't have a say in it. Like he'll have a say on a few things, yeah. but it's not like he wrote it. So and he's, he's, and and apparently Ben's the they left those, they left a ton of shit on the cutting room floor too. Apparently, right? And it's like you have you you can't blame like the cast. Like you got fucking yeah. Will Smith and yeah, know, blame Will Smith. Blame Will Smith. <laughs> and you get and you got yo know, uh, Margot Robbie and all these uh, great yeah. actors, right? And then of course Jared Leto, and it's like the movie just didn't come together. No. Right? You, you can't blame the actors. So I saw he got cast as Morbius, mm-hmm. right? Jared Leto. Whoa, just whoa, got... whoa, what? As in Spider-Man? Yeah. How have you not heard about this? Dude, dude? I don't know. People don't talk about this with me, I guess. But it's not in Spider-Man, the MCU. It's in like the, the Sony Venom oh. kind of spinoff universe, right? So he's going to play. There's a standalone. There's not. There's a standalone Morbius movie being made. And they cast Jared Leto as Morbius. Okay, okay sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going I'm to watch it, but I'm like, okay, sure. a standalone, like... Morbius movie. It's like, <laughs> who the fuck? What? Oh, like, don't get me wrong. Morbius was dope. Back in the 90s animated yeah. cartoon show, he had one of the best arcs, right? They're trying to bring vampires back. But it's like, Mor- Morbius? <laughs> Morbius? Morbius, really? That's who you go with? And then you got, like, Jake Gyllenhaal playing Mysterio, but that's in the actual MCU. Oh, that's pretty that's sick, sweet. Man. Yeah. Jake, uh, yeah. Jake I'm, I'm, I'm behind it. I mean, Jared Leto and Jake Jared and all anything they do. I like, and people were, and so, so back to my point is, I saw in the article, oh shit, the cast Jared Leto as Morbius. Like, look, I don't know why the fuck they're making a Morbius movie, but I'm sure Jared Leto will do a killer job. And everyone's like, oh, he's gonna ruin this character too. And oh blah, blah. no, like, people, fuck. people, it that's, just, it, it kills me. It kills I, me because like. It's, it's a bunch of 13 year olds who only are basing his yeah. performance or his acting capabilities off Suicide Squad and it was and again I thought he killed it I, I thought, thought he was, was fine phenomenal. in Suicide Squad there was Squad. nothing wrong with it's him the it was the writing like dude watch him in Fight Club watch, watch him, him in Requiem, Requiem for, dude. for watch Dream watch him in fucking Dallas Buyers Club he's fucking like, incredible Blade Run like anything he's done he's he he's, kills he's it he's super talented he's, man. like so don't even front on it and it, it really, and people don't get it and it's fine but working in film, it's like there are so many moving parts and there are so many things. And it's yeah. easy to just pick out what's bad because that's how we are as humans. It's so easy to just judge and crap on things. But there is so much work that goes into making it. And now, like, when people crap on things, I'm just like, uh, yeah. I lose respect yeah, for that. Yeah, you know, he had the unfortunate, you know, kind of thing of being cast as the first Joker after Heath yeah. Ledger. And also the movie just not coming together. Yeah. So he's... It fucking sucks. I'm surprised he's doing another superhero movie, to be honest. He's I thought fine. he would go back to doing some... He is fine. He's good with doing his, you know, his Oscar bait movies because he's so fucking good. Mm. Right? Like Dallas Buyers Club, say what you want. It's a bit of an Oscar bait movie, but it was... Have you seen it? No, I haven't no. seen it. Oh, fuck, dude, yeah. it's good. There's a lot of, good... There's a lot of movies I gotta really watch. really good. Like, I, I think uh, Jared Leto, he won an Oscar for it, and so did Matthew McConaughey. Mm. Killer, killer movie. Um, But anyways, I think that's gonna be it. Now we have one more question. One more question yeah. for the fans. This always happens. <laughs> yeah, we always, we always go off track. Like we just yeah, did so it's the least we could do for them after. Yeah, mm-hmm. no exclusives for the patrons. What game book or what game book or comic book do you want to see a movie of, and who to direct and act in it? Okay, run that one more time. If you were, if they were to make a movie based off of okay. a game, a book, or a comic of your choice. What would it be and who would act or direct or whatever? This is a fucking tough one because this requires some thought. <laughs> okay, let's just start listing crap off. <laughs> They're ready to, okay. I don't think Ghost in the Shell needed a movie. No. It's one of my favorite worlds, but it's but that didn't need a movie. I watched it and I didn't mind it. Uh what else is there? It's like I'm not even a fan of game to movie adaptations. No, that's a So thing. I don't want to pick a video game? No. No. I mean they did a pretty good job with WoW, even though I didn't like Warcraft. I enjoyed it. It's on Netflix. How was it? It's it is what it is. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Warcraft. I, 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 oh fuck! They're, so they're rebooting in the Resident Evil movie series, oh, right? Wow. And but do you want the, the thing you that you can gives play me, Wesker? The th- <laughs> oh, Chris. Chris. <laughs> Chris. The thing <laughs> that gives me a little glimmer of hope is that it's being produced by James Wan, oh, who, whoa, I, who whoa. I like. So I'm just like, ooh. James Wan is good, man. So look, they're already making it. Like I think you can do a good Resident Evil movie, mm. even though I say. 
that I don't want to see a video game, whatever. But who would play? Who would make play like Jill or Chris or some shit? Okay, Chris Redfield, Tom Hardy. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's sense. a good one. Tom Hardy's good because Tom Hardy's sick. He's a phenomenal. He's, he's another. He's, he's another actor that like anything he does I hope, is gold. I hope Venom is good. Like, yeah. Uh, I mean, we Sony. all do. I mean, I hope I, it's good. I, I, I mean, I, 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 I I'm hope. not holding my. I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not, going in low expectations. No. I hope it's good. As, as as low as Dragon Ball expectations because I watched Dragon Ball. It was terrible. You watch fucking Dragon Ball? Yeah. Staff is like, it's watch it. I know it's gonna be terrible. I'm I like, watch I'm not gonna waste my money Street on this. Fighter Legend of Chun Li. Exactly. So we yeah. So we we. we now, okay, Resident Evil's hard. Actually, I would, for Resident Evil, I would almost want them to pick some no names. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. And do it like low budget. Do it like fucking like. You know how with the original Resident Evil is super cheesy? Fucking do it that way. <laughs> That'd be sick. Do a low budget movie and do it fucking no name actors. With a with a prop with a proper But like, by with someone who line. fucking knows what they're doing. Yeah. Right? With a proper like story. Like the, with a proper story that doesn't like fuck Alice. God God fuck I hate Alice. Rattel man. loves Alice. It's man. the worst. Freaking <laughs> Paul W. S. Anderson puts her his fucking wife in every movie he does. <laughs> Are they not bullshit. married anymore? Are they still married? No, because he just made a movie and she was in it. Oh my god, there you go. I forget what movie it was. Oh my was, god. Anyways, you know, I, oh, so okay, you know, so a movie actually, a will from book to movie, is the Titans of Siren by Kurt Vonnegut Jr. And it's a sci-fi. I won't spoil anything. I don't know who the who would play the characters, but that's what I would like to see. It's a great movie, or it's a great book, and it's short enough that it, I think it. A movie would do it justice. Work for a trilogy or something? No, no, no trilogy. No, one movie. Okay. That's it. I think it might be easier for me to pick one of my favorite directors and choose a game for them to make. Yeah. Mm. My, one of my favorite directors is Edgar Wright. Yeah. What, what did he, he do again? He did fucking Shaun of the Dead. Right. Okay. <laughs> the Hot Fuzz. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, he just did Baby Driver. And then uh, Scott Pilgrim. That's right. He well, did who Baby did, who Driver. Did, uh, who did... Uh, Kingsman? Did he do Kingsman? He did no, not. That's, that's, that's Michael. Matthew no, Vaughn. My, Matthew Vaughn. Matthew yeah, Vaughn. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Who's great in his own right? Yeah. Um, I thought it was him. Something could. Well, he already did Scott Pilgrim, and he did a great yeah. adaptation yeah. of Scott Pilgrim. It was. Like, it really yeah, was. if you guys haven't seen Scott Pilgrim versus uh, the world, it's fucking fantastic. Yeah, it's cheesy, but. It's cheesy, cheesy. but I mean, that's the whole point. I know. Of it, right? I, I thought that movie was no, fantastic. But, but again, it was a great adaptation from. Like, it, it, obviously, the graphic novel is better. There's a bit more depth to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, but the movie books, was phenomenal. Yeah. Like, exactly. I mean, that's true it for most books. books. Yeah. You have to put something like in the real world. You can't have like most video games. Like they have like a setting that they they built with the visuals and the background and, and, the, and the reading, right? Mm -hmm. That's why with mo most movies, in my opinion, it's harder until you can actually create that world. That's why Warcraft was like, oh my god, it's so hard to make because you have to create like this completely brand new world. That's why you know, the Rings worked out because mm -hmm. there was three movies to actually expand that that universe a little bit more same with Harry Potter it's like mm -hmm. seven eight movies or something I don't know but they, they, they showed you like that the, the setting like you have to have a like a beginning like a, one movie just to set it up but there's a lot of movies like that these days right and then like, you have the middle one which is the bulk and the third one's the conclusion usually mm -hmm. those like the, most game in my opinion most games if they are gonna make game like video game movies or even comic book movies, they have to build that that setting, yeah. or it's not gonna work. Uh, look at Suicide Squad. It's like, mm. oh, they tried to boom. Do they just threw so it. much at once. Same yeah. with Justice League. They threw everything at once. Even like like um, even MCU. Eventually, they got pretty sta like stale because it's always the same formula. But yeah. it's the same universe, right? It's already there, so they can just throw people in, and it's not that like it's not overwhelming because you already know all these characters. There's been like there. twenty movies now. <laughs> exactly. It's fucking but, insane. And that's like it's a great formula, but like all these origin stories are getting really boring at one point, right? Because yeah. they're all gonna be the same, and you know there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's they're great. That's it. Black Panther actually was amazing. Yeah. Like, that's what, like, I actually, like, finally watched it. And I was like, and it was, I loved it because it was, it was, tan like, it was real life. Like, the villain was actually fighting towards something that we can relate to in the real world. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, oh, world domination or something. Yeah. Like, no, like, I just want to help, like, my hood, my people, like, mm -hmm. our people. 
Yeah. So it made it so it, it so it was nice that way. But then, but, but the did, CG was rough. Yeah, it was. But but then with with the uh, with Black Panther, they already established that setting. They were right. that, that world, that universe. <laughs> so it's easier for them to just ad- adapt a new character in there, just throw give give them a story because you're you're so familiar with it. Um, but with the brand spanking new game or what brand spanking new book, oh man, that's 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 uh, it's hard now. Well, it is hard. I mean, you look something like Valerian. Like I enjoyed mm-hmm. it, but like. But the story was weak. Like visually, weak. visually, it was yeah. it was weak, and uh, and I and I want to read the books. I I really do. Mm-hmm. But like the story got to a point where I was like, oh, it's actually weak. But visually, it was it was yeah. great. And like it's it's unfortunate because a lot of people want so much now. Yeah. It's because they were eased into like a certain part that like a, like a, with a movie like that, it's it's weak mainly because there's not enough time for you to digest the story. Yeah. And that's why, like you know, that's that's the that's what handcuffs people from making movies, like like great movies, because it's hard to tell a story that vast without spending a lot of money, and they want to make money in return, right? So they have to build more and actually create like a full on story. And that's why I think it's it's it's, it's like a really hard question to answer. I want yeah. Robert Rodriguez to make a House of the Dead. <laughs> Then he, oh, that can that makes sense, but but then, he already made that with Planet Terror. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's it's pretty much also, but yeah, it's set in like an Earth, like a like an mm-hmm. Earth universe, so mm-hmm. it's easy for you to do. You can't do like anything with fantasy. That's it's so hard. Like I want to see a really good WoW movie. Ain't gonna happen. They're Not making for a, a while. aren't they making a Mario movie? Didn't that? Isn't they that did. happening? They did, man. They did, man. Oh, Back gosh. in like '89. But they're actually gonna make like an animated one. Yeah, animated movies are easier though. Yeah. <laughs> well, it would be sick if like like Pixar or some shit would do it, but I don't think that's happening. <laughs> no, nah. I can go on. I don't know. I don't know. Nintendo partnered with somebody. I forget who it was to do. Uh... Oh fuck! To do who the fuck did they partner with? I'm gonna look it up. What, Mar- what the Mario Bros. Movie? DreamWorks, the original one? No, no not the original because they're making. They do. They signed. They're doing new shit. I mean, <laughs> is it Studio G- Ghibli? <laughs> Ghibli. Who the fuck did they partner with here? But you know what I'm trying trying to say, right, yeah. Ben? Like, no, I I hear you, I hear you. Like, and I'm, I'm sure like all those books, they're f- amazing because it creates that setting, mm. and you, it's a slow digest. Yeah. Movies are fast. People like fast things now. They don't appreciate the work. <laughs> well, and even something like Lord of Rings, like people won't watch it because it's like, well, it's first of like the movie's too long, and then you have three of them. It's and the director's cut, which makes it even better. Oh, they're working with the people who did Despicable Me and Minions. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Despicable Me was wasn't too bad. It was pretty funny. Despicable Me was okay, but they. I don't. Like, I'm not a fan of those fucking Minions. Oh my god. I only so watched. Annoying. I only watched the second one, and I really liked it. Really? But Despicable Me too. Yeah. Despicable Me was. I mean, that's yeah. the only one I've Steve seen. Steve Carell's amazing. I'm just gonna tell yeah. you that right now. Oh, have you seen Incredibles two yet? I was with Dude. you. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Well, shit. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> great movie. Incredibles two is fantastic. It was amazing. It was I so good. Well, like I watched it and I was like, and I was like, was the first one this good? Was, yeah. <laughs> the first one, they're like neck and neck. They're both it, amazing. Because I mean, it's been so long since I've seen it. And when they came out, I saw it a ton. Like, believe you me, I did. But like watching the second, one, I was like, oh dang, this movie's phenomenal. Yeah. You know so why? good. Because Frozone, baby. Frozone. Lucius. <laughs> and then Lucius. I, saw, I, fucking, I saw two movies this weekend. I went and saw Ant-Man and the Wasp as well. How, How was that? Is it worth watching? I liked it. If you liked the first, did you like the first Ant-Man? I did. Yeah, I mean, it was like... Then you're going to like this one. <laughs> because, I mean, I was like mad with, about it. Mm. It was uh, it was one of the weaker ones to come out. But the trailer for this one looks lots of fun. Like it, It's fun. It looks lots of fun. It's, and like It's mm. definitely fun. Like, I enjoyed it. It's not... It's definitely like... Like there's so many fucking Marvel movies compared to at this point, but it's not it's not in the lower tier. It's probably yeah. in the upper half. Yeah. I would oh, say. Really? Yeah. What's the it's low good. tier? Uh, oh. The low tier is like Iron Thor, Man three, Iron Man two and three, fucking Thor two. But we shouldn't even talk about those movies anymore because I, I, again I. They're a I long loved, time ago. I loved Ragnarok. Like we had when movies like Ragnarok and they've been killing and, it, and, dude. And Black uh, Black Panther. Like there, I don't know. There's been recently they're at a new level now is what for i'm sure. trying to say like but it's not like you know for me the best ones are still like winter soldier and fucking like infinity war those are like right. my two favorites probably 
And but Guardians one. Guardians he, one. Was Guardians one is so fucking you, good. You can't even bring up Infinity War though, because Infinity War. Infinity was War just, is another level. Yeah, that was. I mean, it was it was worth the wait. It's, it's, what it's it was, absolutely was worth what the wait. It was. The, the one thing about it though, it's like it's it's way up there with an asterisk. You need yeah. to see everything else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guardians, you can literally just jump in and watch yeah. Guardians one yeah. if you've never seen anything. And, and Guardians it's one, fucking phenomenal. But Primo. Infinity War, you if you have watched all the other ones, mm. like I'm sure we all have, yeah. it's like it's one of the best fucking movies. Surprisingly, ever. we watched all the fucking movies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we do. I've, I've seen almost like every one, one in Ant-Man theaters. Or one. Which one have you even watched? Well, I didn't. After, I only saw Iron Man 1, uh, Thor 2, I didn't see. And then he see. went to Infinity War. <laughs> uh, what, what else didn't I see? Which one didn't you see? The, the Iron Man. I only saw Iron Man 1. That's I didn't, fine. I didn't see Thor 2. That's fine. Well, and there's a there's a there's a gem in that movie. Yeah, but you're fine. I mean, I, I I probably would want to maybe. Um, it's one of the weakest MCU movies. Oh ever. And maybe actually maybe that's it. Maybe yeah. We'll, see, so you so you skipped out the crappy one. You're you're yeah. you're good. You're good. Everyone loves Winter Soldier, and I only watched it maybe two years ago. Uh, I didn't care for it. Yeah, I. Oh, it was so, so I good, man. I agree with you. But, but maybe, but I think maybe because I missed a train on it. Like mm-hmm. I had already seen so many other movies yeah. that I was just like, it's 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 fucking good. I just love the action scenes in that game, that game that movie. It's uh, because it's all like you know, it's a bit more grounded than some of the other mm. ones. You know, it's just Cap and fucking Bucky, and it's fucking awesome. I don't know. It doesn't count, but Deadpool too. That's where I'm at, man. I love Deadpool too. Yeah. Have you seen Deadpool too, Billy? Yeah, I think I watched it. <laughs> Did you watch you? it with me again? <laughs> I per- possibly. I think I possibly. There's actually did. a very good chance. <laughs> Billy's but giving you all these rides. Deadpool and... two. Deadpool two is like it's not this like fucking amazing movie, but fucking Ryan Reynolds is the greatest Deadpool. <laughs> he is Deadpool. <laughs> he carries the whole movie. I just feel he can be doing anything on like, the screen. It's just such a good like translation of what these characters would be like in real life. Yeah. Is is how I feel about it, and I'm just like perfect. Like, spoilers, spoilers, y'all. Sorry, right? Yeah. Like Juggernaut. Yeah. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. Like, like it's just perfect. games like from, right from the get go, just tears them in half, and it's just like, oh, like, yeah. like awesome. that's that's how it would go down. It was a great movie. I yeah. love that. movie. I was so happy Juggernaut was in it. I was like popping off in my seat. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> let's fucking go. Yeah. Because they did him dirty in X three, man. <laughs> oh, and that's and that's what like I want. I didn't watch. I X3. wonder. I, watch I wonder, like, just with all the things they do, they're just like slapping the pre, like you know, slapping the writers in the past. Is how yeah. I feel it. They're like, totally. this is how Dude, it's supposed to be done. The end credits in Deadpool yeah. too, when he's going back and he shoots like the old Wade Wilson from X Men Origins and, and Ryan like, Reynolds himself. And Ryan Reynolds when he's reading the script. It's, <laughs> it's hilarious. So it's just like it's perfect. But Green Lantern, man. Green Lantern. <laughs> I'm surprised they they went fucking went there. <laughs> I'm surprised they were able to. I know that's yeah. the thing. But it's a Marvel it, movie, but, man. But they, I know. But, but, they, um, but I mean, they even, I mean, they even hit on DC. They're like, you're so dark. Yeah, it's like <laughs> couple the DC universe. It's like, but it's like if DC were to go after Marvel for that shit, they they they, they can't. They, they can't. They can't. It'll be and dumb. plus and plus it would be so much bad press for them too. They, and they DC have has to sport. reboot it, man. They have. They have. Like I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do with DC right Hit now. Hit the reset the button. How, how bad? Man. How uh, probably? How bad was? Well, did you guys enjoy, in, enjoy like Justice League? Right? Yes. Well, like I watched it. It wasn't yes, terrible. I enjoyed it. Okay. I'll, it was I'll, better than I thought it was gonna be, to be honest. Okay. But it's not. It's not fucking anything on it the Avengers. Yeah, it's not the Infinity War. No. Yeah. No, but I mean, just keep your expectations in check and just go in. There's a lot of bias. You know, people like again. We want to. Yeah, that's true. When when Batman vs Superman came out, dude, people fucking yeah. hated that movie. It wasn't that bad. And I'm just I like, enjoyed it. Come on, you guys. It was not that fucking bad. It was just too much. There, there was some huge like, I, and I just wonder. I was like, come on, like I'm not a writer by any means, but there's a lot of things here that like. Why'd yeah. you say that name? <laughs> I mean, well, I mean we I mean even that wasn't the worst part, but it was just like you know what, like cut out the doomsday. We didn't need doomsday. Yeah. Like if, if they ruined that character now. It's yeah, like, Doomsday's gone, man. They want to use him again, it's gonna be like, well you already fucking like, wasted him like, in this if, movie. If we if we had like we could have just had Doomsday from the get go and then introduce the Justice League from there, like Doomsday's like messing the earth apart, and then heroes are just coming, fighting, trying yeah. to stop it. Everyone's getting wrecked. Superman dies at the end. Store like Story. and we just we just united the league. Like, yeah. Done. Right and then we can start having some origin stories. Like Yeah. 
that would have been way better. Like we, that would have been better. Like, if you want, if you wanted him to die, like, but die. Wonder Woman, like Wonder Woman, in the trailers was great, but after seeing the movie, I was like, you know what? It would have been so much better if we didn't know she was in the movie. Yeah. Like and just being a surprise, where it's like, yeah, this is Wonder Woman. Yeah, who is like, this chick? Yeah. But they ruined a lot, man. I, I haven't watched Wonder Woman yet either. You should. It's, it's a good, good one. It's, it's good. the best one they have. Yeah, it is. It really is. Well, now I'm talking about. We talk about Dark Knight, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the the this 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 universe. Yeah, this this the Christopher Nolan one movies are on another level. I know. Oh, I still think they're like my favorite. Superhero yeah, movies. I think Dark Knight is yeah. probably still my favorite superhero yeah. movie. Yeah. You, you can't. You can't. You just can't touch on it. I don't. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of. Was it the Dark Knight Rises? Yeah. No. Didn't no. care for it too much. I mean, it's good. I, it, but Batman Begins and Dark Knight come oh, man, fuck Batman on, Begins dude. So good. So good. So so underrated compared to all the like superhero movies. If you guys haven't watched it because I know the movies. That movie's like 13 years old at this point. Go back so and watch that good. shit. I watch it once a year at least yeah. because, you know, freaking. Liam Neeson, man. <laughs> Liam Neeson. <laughs> Damn Liam it, you know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys really want to be entertained, go back and watch the Schumacher Batman movies. Woo! Oh yeah, dude, I want those. I want those bat nips. The bat nips. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. We can go on. Forever. We can talk all day about this shit. That's gonna be it for episode 102, the top tier podcast. Again, thanks so much to our patrons. If you guys want to support the show, uh, you can hit us up over at Patreon.com/slash Top Tier Podcast. What are we gonna give to them though? We got well. Actually, I like I uploaded a video this month and last month. Oh, wh- wh- we're doing some exclusive videos. Yeah, what videos? more do you guys want from us? I, 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 no. have, I have another one coming up for July too, because the, the one I posted in July was super short. But anyways, um, again, thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Billy. Peace out. Mm-hmm.